Hi, my name is Justin Lozier. I'm a student at UMass Lowell studying mechanical engineering. Hi, my name is Tom Didoni, and I'm a graduate of the psychology department at UMass Lowell. And today we'd like to introduce to you Topican, the most convenient ashtray in the world. <laughs> So the problem that we wanted to address is cigarette butt littering. Cigarette butt littering is the most littered item in the world, making up a 4.3 trillion. And the U.S. contributes 250 cigarette butts to that number. Our solution is a very affordable, convenient, compact, and completely mess-free snap-on can ashtray. And it also promotes a go green cause. Once the can is full of cigarette butts, it can be simply snapped off and the can can be properly disposed of. So, top of can is easy to use. Simply hold the can ashtray in one hand, hold a beverage can in the other, and simply align and slide. And now you're keeping it clean. <laughs> we're going to pass it around as well. <laughs> so, we've taken a look at the market and we've seen our competitor products. And we have one right here called the cup holder ashtray. And we found that from personal experience to be messy to clean, creates an odor after only a few uses, and doesn't promote any go green cause. And it's sold between two to six dollars, the same price point that we plan to sell our product for. And you find this at every convenience store, grocery store, and they're nationwide. They're absolutely everywhere. If you look out for them, you will see it. So we've been in development of the Topican for the last two years or so. So we incorporated the company as an LLC in the state of New Hampshire, December of 2014. We began prototyping January 2014, many iterations before we came down to this one. And now we are now pan pending as of May 2015. Registered trademarks, Topican and Can Ashtray, and we have just started our social media presence and our online website for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. So. Please follow us online. We could use the support. So who's our target market? We are targeting the 42.1 million active smokers in the US. Now that's a large number, but our first, first fiscal year goal is to reach 1% of that, which is 421,000 units sold. And that's based off our production capabilities via injection molding. Now, we plan to target three different markets within the active smokers. Consumers that smoke on the road, that enjoy the outdoors and also enjoy the nightlife. Now, since the year 2000, they had removed ashtrays from vehicles, so you'll find it very common not to be able to see an ashtray in a car. If you go outside, I mean, you'll see a cigarette outlet, but you won't be able to dispose of your butts. You'd have to go out of your way to contain them to then properly dispose of them later on. So we plan to take this international because China, there are 350 million active smokers out there. 54% of their male population smoke. This is a market that we want to tackle. But how are we going to reach that? Well, we need to go through distributors. And, you know, for instance, Mr. Checkout Distribution, one of the largest companies in the U.S. for distribu uh, distribution, they work with over 1,000 wholesalers and distributors, and also 35,000 independently owned grocery stores and convenience stores. So our sales channels are of those of convenience stores and grocery stores. And also to hit the online presence at Amazon, Google Shopping, eBay, and our own online e-commerce store where we'll make the most profits as well, cutting out the distribution. And based off our market analysis of online searches via Google, Yahoo, and Bing, 140,000 unique monthly hits are searched for car ashtray. So consumers are looking for it. We want to take those leads and direct them right to our website or right to our online store. So what we need, we need funds to start our first low volume batch of 50 units so we can send that out to a distributor and also use it for testimonials and feedback of the product. Um, the remainder of the funds will go towards injection molding and tooling and there's a little picture of uh, our graphic designer working on the display packaging. It's coming along really well and we are going to send product packaged ready to go in a care package to the distributor so we can land an agreement and get our first PO for orders. And that is the Topican Can Ashtray, the most convenient ashtray in the world with a Go Green solution. Thank you. How many different can top sizes are there? Great question. So this can actually fit every standard can size from a Red Bull energy drink, uh, beer cans, any soda can, V8. 
doesn't matter what the size is, they all have a standard 54 millimeter brim. Really? <laughs> what, 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 what competition what, do you have? What's my competition? Yeah, what's your competition? So my competition... For that product? For this product would be the... The cup holder ashtray, okay. which is sold nationwide. And we are selling our product within the same price point because our costs are only 90 cents a piece to produce this. But they're the, you're only competitor. Only competitor within our price range. All our other competitors are pushing seven, eight dollars or more, and they have more functionalities to their elaborate ashtrays that are sold online. Jack? Yeah, um, when you call it Go Green Solution, I, I was wondering, you know, how do you feel about taking, though, that, that can out of the recycling stream? Yeah. For so disposal. that is an excellent question. We have been in direct affiliation with two different recycling companies to come up with the key turn solution to recycle the butt filled can. Right now, we just promote the proper disposal of the can because we believe that it's better than throwing away 250 volumetrically can fit into one can. So we want to take those containers in the can and just properly dispose of that. But there is a company such as TerraCycle that does recycle the cigarette butts, and then your aluminum can can be placed with your recyclables right now. So simply by taking a can opener, you could go out of your way to separate them out and recycle both, but we were working on a key turn solution where you can just mail in the can and it'll be recycled from there. But that is still in development. I'm wondering, if, are you thinking of um, partnering with green uh, initiatives Yes, so actually on the 30th, we got offered to table at um, uh, Lawrence Groundworks um, volunteer, like Earth Day event. So we're gonna have a table there. Last year they had 1,800 volunteers and we're really happy to show up there and promote the Go Green cause of you know, proper disposal of cigarette butt litter, since it is the most littered item in the world. What kind of advice have you gotten around the patent? Because um, I, I, I think, you know, if you're, if one of the big components of your business model is to take it internationally, especially into the Chinese market. Yes. IP protection is really, really difficult. Mm -hmm. um, so are, are you guys spending a little um, energy on that? So when it comes out to China, like it is an open market. They could create knockoffs. You see knockoffs of iPhones mm -hmm. on the market with no protection for that. So when we hit the Chinese market, we want to get our roots established in the U.S. So we have our manufacturing capabilities and everything established. We can. Um, get a pen for like Russia and all other foreign countries where we can reach out because once we have our roots in the ground, we have the funds to be able to you know, push forward for that. But for the Chinese market, we're just going to flood the market. Get as many as we can out there, hit every store, and just see what we can do. <laughs> Did that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. It seems like you could also turn it into a promotional item, though. Instead of selling yes. directly to the consumer, why not sell to... Uh, um, you know, NASCAR, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to put uh, stamp logos on it. And, and so, so with this initial, with this, uh, with the low volume production that we need, it's going to be done via urethane casting. So the products will look and resemble as they were injection molded, because it will be done via a silicone mold. And we will pad print like Marlboro, Bud Light, their logos right onto the product and ship them out to them as well, or actually go there and present the product to them to be used as a promotional item. So that's another uh, channel we can go down as well. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, topical.